Hi everyone, it's Janine in the Little Nun's room outside broadcast number three. I've decided whilst I've been walking to call this tourist in my own town. So um, I'm walking along now Broadway Market. So we started on Brick Lane, we've gone to Columbia Road and now Broadway Market. And these places are all about, I don't know, 10 minute walk of each other. Uh, so I'm still in the east end of London and this street is actually super special. So it's not, there's not a flower market, but usually there's a market in the street. Um, there isn't today, there isn't today, probably because of social distancing rules, but a lot of the shops are open, people are out and about, down the other end, like the far, far end, where you can see the green, that's actually called London Fields, um, there's a really nice Lido there, I wonder if that's open. So a lot of people in this area of London, in Hackney, there's not much green space, so where there is green space, people absolutely flock to it, and then the Lido can get nuts busy at points I've only been a few times um, but yeah I'm stood outside a shop this is a, now a pop-up shop here this gentleman stood there so I'm gonna keep filming um, the once upon a time once upon a time completely changed my life so I came here can you see that block of flats I came when I'd split with my big serious relationship a long long time ago I don't mind talking about this and I was looking for a place to rent because I was living with him and I needed to move out and I had a bit of time to do it which was good so I came to look at a block of flats here and at the time I was working at the Jeffrey Museum now Museum of the Home and um, and I thought I tell you what I'll do I'm gonna have a look along Broadway Market I've heard so much about it down the other end is the canal, so lots of people cycle along there. It's like very, very funky, very trendy, very cool, very hip. Um, this was a long time ago, so now obviously it's still really buzzy, but then, you know, it was still a bit more edgy. A um, lot more artists kind of coming in and bringing the area up. Cut long story short, I'm in the shop. It was a um, second-hand clothes shop, and I'm looking at this gorgeous pair of gloves. They were leather gloves, they're beautiful. And um, I got talking to this woman, and we're just chatting away, and uh, she's like, are you okay? And obviously I just got, you know, I was going through a breakup. And, um, and I just, I told her, and she literally, she's like, right, put those gloves down. She goes, you don't need those where you're going. I'm like, what do you mean? And she said, right, come with me. And she kind of marched me out the shop and um, walked me down uh, Broadway Market, all down to the other end, to this bookshop. And she walks me into this bookshop and she says, right, I'm gonna buy you a book. I'm gonna get you a book that's gonna change your life. So I'm like, oh, literally, didn't even know the woman's name. She was just really lovely and I trusted her complicitly. And, and by the way, the flat um, wasn't right, wasn't right. <clears throat> so that's, you know, aside from that. So I'm with this lady in the shop and uh, she's like, I'm gonna buy this book. So she goes up to the counter and it's not available. So she says to the woman, um, "Can I, I'm gonna get it for her and when will it come? So a couple of days. And I'm stood there and I'm like, you, could, you don't need to buy me a book. Like, she's like, no you have to have this book this is going to change your life i promise you it's going to change your life so um so then i i say to her well what's the book called she hadn't even told me what it was called by this point and she said can you guess eat pray love elizabeth gilbert so it's literally a couple of months after it came out women were reading it absolutely everywhere and she'd read it and she's like it's already started changing hers so I got the book a couple of days later, when I finished my work in the museum, I walked down the canal, because so it's not that far, bought, uh, got the book, started to read it. And I do believe that actually, that that book, when I think of this road, I think of the shop, it's now a pop-up shop, I think of the bookshop store that um, isn't actually there anymore, um, sadly, but maybe COVID times, I don't know, have, have hit. Um, but that's what I think about when I'm here and how being at this point in time, like terrible breakup then led me to do like all of my world trips I even I even won believe this or not tickets to go to Bali I won them and I met the healer Wyan like I entered this competition I was with my mum and my dad in um, Westfield shopping centre in, in, in West London and I went into this competition and I won tickets to go to Bali I'm not kidding. Me and my friend Momtaz went. It's another whole other story. So, special things can happen, people. In the strangest of circumstances, you just got to keep your eyes open and your ears to the ground. That's right. Or is it your, is it your ears open and your eyes to the ground? <laughs> um, so here I am. This is my last outside broadcast of the day. I was just trying to think, is there anywhere else good I could take you to? Um, there probably is, but let's save it for another day. So take care. Lots of love. <laughs> like, subscribe. If you like. They are true, um, and uh, yeah, speak soon. All right.
right, bye. Mwah.